All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Live Tips Tuesday. So if you're not familiar with this series, I basically hop into a match and I try my best to explain my thought process step by step. Now, keep in mind, it may not be the most coherent explanations, but the fact of the matter is pretty much every single map that I play on, my strategy always remains the same. Number one, flank. Number two, uh, stick to the outskirts of the map. Number three, I'm going to always keep an eye on the minimap. And make sure I avoid hanging out with my teammates. That's the number one mistake. That's the easiest way to just die on your streaks is uh, hanging out with your teammates. So uh, today we're going to be using the Bullfrog and we'll go over the class setup after this game. But yeah, I'm going to try my best, like I said, to explain what I'm doing. So we're playing on Zoo here. And basically, depending on where we spawn in, I'm just going to look at what direction my team is going to. And they're most likely just going to go straight down the middle. Uh, I'm going to go the opposite way. So you could really go left or right. It really doesn't matter. Uh, but me personally, I like to go on the right side because uh, I feel like it's just a smaller, more narrow area and less chance for me to get uh, flanked. So anyways, let's go ahead and pre-aim this. All right. No, 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 no knife and no knife and for you. All right, I'm pre-aiming again. And we're playing some team deathmatch here, so the spawns are going to be flipping quite rapidly. All right, nothing's going on. Let's go get some high ground also. Don't forget to get high ground, guys. But also beware of snipers. So I'm not even going to stay over there. Remember, you don't always have to challenge every single gunfight. It's always the people who play the most patient usually... The game does reward you. Well, I don't mean camp, but, you know, play smart. All right. In that situation, obviously, I'm always ready. I'm always ready. I'm always expecting somebody to be there. Obviously, you can't win every single gunfight. And, uh, yeah. The reason why I just kind of glanced over there to my right is because I saw my teammates down the middle of the map. It just makes sense. If they haven't died, then there's no reason for me to look that way. All right. I just saw some fresh footprints up here, so I'm going to go ahead and check it out. Oh, wait, wait, we've got something below us. Oh, right behind me. Yeah, so this is the dangerous part, obviously, is when you're playing like that and you're jumping the gun like that. I, I literally just jumped down the stairs like crazy. And I, we were in their spawn, so I had it coming for me. Teammates are dying around here. Let's go get some kills. All right, they're spawning in over here on this. Oh, my gosh, dude. Check left. Oh, they're coming. Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. I did. Dude, I got stuck on the wall, bro. I was going to throw my C4 to give me some breathing room uh, and a chance for me to escape. Guys, use the tracker perk. The tracker perk is amazing, especially for flankers. All right, let's check this area here. Pre-aiming. Looking on the minimap. Oh, you got me, you got me, you got me. Obviously, not every single gunfight is going to be 100% won by you. We're not trying to sugarcoat everything here. This is literally uh, raw. And uh, my goal is like to show you every single confrontation. Keep it as realistic as possible, obviously. All right, reason why I'm coming up here is because look at that minimap. This is a little risky, but if we patient and we play this right. Throw the C4 here. Got something out of it, something. May not be the best situation, but... Whoa! Oh, this man had my number the whole entire time. All right, so look at where my teammates are. Let's, let's just move on. All right, I'm going to go. I'm going to push right side. I'm pushing right side. Look at my teammates. They're going straight down the middle there. 100% the enemy is going to be preoccupied with uh, focusing on them. So I'm on the outside looking in, basically. All right. See, see, I see where things are coming in from. Now I know there's people up there because I let my teammates go first. All right, let's come up here. Pre-aiming this. For sure, they're in here. Got him. Wait a minute. Minimap is key. Alright, I think they're coming in. Hold up. 
I'm watching every line of sight where they could possibly come in from, guys. Never, never, never let your guard down. All right, so now we've got the uh, war machine. Actually, I'm gonna throw my C4. Okay, we got a hit marker there. He's hurt. He's still there. He's still there. All right, good job, teammate. All right, let's go ahead and uh, call in this war machine. Wait, I'm hearing footsteps below me. Nope. They're on to me. They are on to me, ladies and gentlemen. Here they come. Here they come. Okay, we got the harp. But luckily, our teammate already has one. Let's keep this streak alive. We literally just have to go to where they're at. Bro, this fire needs to go away. All right, I'm actually going to go down here. Call in another advanced UAV. Should be an easy flank right here. There it is. There's another one. I'm looking at that minimap, guys. Woo! All right, I know there was a lot to explain there, but like I said, I'm trying my absolute best here to explain my situations, like why I'm doing what I'm doing. And if you're finding this series very helpful, a like is definitely appreciated. I really appreciate it, guys. And make sure to check out my past videos as well, because the whole point of this series is to show you guys how I play the game and how you could learn from it as well. I keep it very simple, like I stated in the beginning of the video. Doesn't matter what map we're playing on, the strategy is always going to remain the same. So hopefully you guys took some notes. Make sure to leave a like as well. And uh, yeah, we're not done yet. I'm going to show you guys the class setup that I was using. All right, where are my matters? I didn't even show you guys my final score. So I got 26 kills, four deaths, 6.50 ratio. And uh, yeah, guys, this just goes to show that, you know, my playstyle may look a little boring. It's not super flashy. That's what happens when you keep it simple, guys. And I'm still on the top of the scoreboard. My KD is very good. And I'm sure that's why a lot of you guys are watching this video to learn how to get more kills and die a lot less. So hopefully you guys did take something away from that, like I said. But anyways, let's go over this class setup. So this is a bullfrog class setup. I just use this because I know a lot of you guys do enjoy using the bullfrog. So here's what I was using. I got the Groove Suppressor here because my whole aim is to stay as stealthy as possible while having a little bit of recoil control. Now, I know the bullfrog already is pretty much a quote unquote no recoil type of SMG, but it also doesn't hurt. You know what I'm saying? And you still get the best of both worlds, which is why I like this attachment on the bullfrog specifically. Now for the barrel. We're using the task force barrel here. This is going to help out with that effective damage range and also with our bullet velocity. Next up, we have the Spetsnaz grip once again. Uh, I had a no recoil build in mind when I made this bullfrog class setup. And by the way, I have many different bullfrog class setups. If you guys are interested, make sure to check out the channel. Uh, yeah, I always try to switch it up every now and then. And here is the magazine. We got the 85 round magazine. The only reason why I use this is because it's just fun. It's fun to have 85 rounds. I mean, come on. You don't really have to worry too much about reloading your weapon. You can just focus on the task at hand, which is your gunfights. So that's one less thing that you have to worry about when you're engaging in a gunfight especially when you're playing 12v12 85 rounds is good enough and the fact that he can reload it as fast as you possibly can uh that's quite amazing if you ask me uh now lastly we have the kgb skeletal stock to help out with the sprinter fire time as well as the aim walking movement speed now for the secondary i alternate between a melee or a shotgun and in this case i'm using the street sweeper so here's what i was using if you guys are curious i got the duck bill choke we got the reinforced heavy 5 milliwatt laser, 18 round drum, as well as the wire stock. Now, if I'm going to go with a melee, I'm going to be choosing the machete, mainly because I just like it. I've had a lot of success with it. I like the lunging power with it. But who knows if there really is a big difference between the melee. Maybe uh, you melee only players can let me know down below in the comments. All right, so tactical. We're going to be using stim shot. As you've seen in the gameplay, this is very very essential to staying alive so stim shot is a very very good tactical lethal we're using c4 and i have to explain this one a little bit because with the c4 a lot of you guys need to realize that sometimes there's going to be situations where you just don't quite have the angle or a clear shot on somebody and they're kind of in a window or in a room and you don't want to rush in there uh, well the c4 you got to use your common sense guys if you can't get an angle on someone just throw your c4 in there detonate it hurt them a little bit Use that uh, time while they're trying to heal up to push them, be a little bit more aggressive. You know, I use it 
as a uh, in a more tactical manner instead of more of like a um, like an assault type of manner i use it to my advantage to give me what i want in that specific situation so uh that's when you'll see me throw c4 sometimes maybe if i'm trying to get away from somebody or put a little distance between myself and the opponents that's when i'll be using the c4 now the jammer i really like as well because sometimes they call in those uavs and sometimes i'm holding down an area and Jammer is going to help me uh, deter the enemies from knowing exactly where I am on their minimap. So that's why I like it. Aside from the fact that it also disables other equipment out there as well. Now for the perks, I'm using Flak Jacket, Tactical Mask, Scavenger, Tracker, Ghost, and Spycraft. Spycraft is a perk that I've grown to love in recent months. Mainly because I'm able to just literally hack the opponent's equipment. So if they got a field mic, if they've got some sort of trophy system or proximity mine, et cetera, et cetera, I can just turn that into mine and use it to my advantage. And uh, yeah, it's quite loads of fun. But anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and you learned something from it. If you did, a like is surely appreciated. And like I said, make sure to check out my past videos on this series. It basically has the same exact thumbnail. It says do better now. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys have been learning. Let me know down below in the comments if you would like to see something specific. I'm open to suggestions and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great rest of your day. I just want to give a big thank you to our members for supporting Turbo Nation and this channel. This channel is driven by the support of you guys and I really appreciate it. And if you would like to join the channel as a member, go ahead to my homepage or check the link in description and click that join button to enjoy these loyalty badges as well as these emojis that you can put in the comments and show your allegiance to the Turbo Nation. But anyways guys, I appreciate all the support and I'll see you guys in the next one.